Hi, everybody. Uh, this is DFS Chan coming to you to talk about the LOL League of Legends uh, LPL summer split. Um, it starts tomorrow, um, the U.S. time to, you know, get the ball rolling um, in all four major regions with the LPL starting tomorrow. And, the, and then LCK will be starting and then we'll have LCS and LEC following up after that as well. But yeah, so it's exciting to have League of Legends esports back um, for the summer. Um, we're going to have a fun, fun, let's see, one, two, about a little over two months of uh, nonstop League of Legends. So it should be really cool. Um, as you see here for the LPL, um, we're going to have about two gamers for the next three days. Um, tomorrow's game is going to be IG versus Weibo Gaming and then FPX versus EDG. So uh, it's a pretty chalky slate, in my opinion, for tomorrow or I guess the opening night of the summer split in China. Um, as you see here on the on Bovada, you'll see that Weibo Gaming and EDG are pretty sizable favorites um, over their respective opponents. So I think it's going to be important to kind of measure the kill upside. And I have a pretty good lean as to which game will be more bloody. And I'll dive into that a little bit, a little more when I'm talking about each game, uh, each game. Um, I do want to tell you uh, just as a reminder, um, you know, two gamers are going to be pretty chalky. Um, it's probably a good slate for cash. Um, for GPP, I mean, you know, really any any team will be in play and on a two-game slate like this uh, with only four teams to choose from to stack with. Um, but um, I do want you to remember, I, I do want to point out that, you know, this Weibo Gaming, uh, Weibo.com uh, website is the best source uh, to get starters information from. So here you'll see um, that IG and WBG Starters are uh, posted here, and for Invictus Gaming, they didn't really go through a lot of changes between the spring and summer split, and I'll kind of go through each team when I'm talking about them here early in the season as to whether, you know, they've made any significant uh, roster upgrades or downgrades between the two, you know, spring and summer splits. Um, here for IG, I mean, Zika, Jun, Yukai, and Wink, they are all the same. And Shin Liu, I actually don't mind seeing, I mean, their, their bottom lane has been, a, you know, where a, was, was a struggle in the uh, spring split, as you may remember. Um, but IG actually has been up and down um, in the spring split. So I think it's important that they solidify, uh, you know, you know, set, kind of help the, the the bottom lane for IG to settle down a little bit, and I think that's why they're they're bringing on Shin Liu and starting uh, Wink here. Um, and Shin Liu, uh, I'm gonna kind of look up see where he played at um, together, because I think that's important to see what kind of experience he has. I think he was through the minor league. Yeah, CUC Invictus Gaming Young. So he came through the um, actually looks like he is Lucas and he just changed the name. You see that? So that's very interesting to know. So Lucas, so they, yeah, they didn't change anything. Um, I actually like Nenny a lot last split, um, but June. Yeah. See, IG has so many AD carries that they need to choose from, and so I think they're just sticking with what they're used to. So, yeah. So, the, really, that doesn't really change anything for me. So, that's interesting. I think um, they're having the same vibe versus Weibo Gaming. The Shy has been, you know, I guess early – First half, the first half of the summer split, he was playing out of his mind, and I fully expect him to do the same. I think just skill wise and um, laning phase wise, I think he's gonna be really a menace to deal with um, 
early in the summer split as well. I think I expect Wavel Gaming to do the exact same things uh, from the spring split. So, yeah, I like the roster here, and I think that's why they're a pretty sizable slate. I mean, a favorite. So I like Wavel Gaming here. Um, I do think Invictus Gaming can win, but it has to go through probably the jungler and the mid laner in June and Yukai, in my opinion, because I just do not see Zika dominating against the shy unless June helps Zika a lot and the shy falls for that trap early in the game. But I just do not expect that to happen here in the first game back in the summer split. So I do think it's gonna be it's gonna have to go through June and Yukai. So if you are playing a IG and stacking players for IG for GPP purposes, I would definitely target those two players against Weibo Gaming. And also because S of FM and Angel are probably um, not the best, not the strongest uh, individual skill players in my opinion compared to June and Yukai. I don't think there is that much of a skill gap there. So I do think that's probably where IG has a little bit of advantage there. But overall, I think Weibo Gaming has definitely a better team and has shown a better performance consi more consistently in the spring split with this five starting. So I definitely have to favor Weibo Gaming in my opinion. The next game on the slate is FPX versus EDG. Um, FPX is starting the exact same five from last split as well. Xiao Liao Hu, uh, Kled starting again, Care, and LWX and Hang. They were playing actually pretty well uh, toward the late in the split uh, with Kled kind of getting you back used to his teammates and everything in his first season, uh, you know, back in China with FPX after spending a lot of time in Korea. Um, he is Korean, so I think, but, but I, th I do think um, I read that he does speak pretty good Chinese, uh, Mandarin with um, his experience back in China before he, uh, you know, uh, in the past. And then EDG is uh, starting the exact same five that started the spring split, but also won the Worlds last year. So I do think EDG will bounce back um, in this meta. Um, EDG struggled a little bit in the uh, early in their split in the spring split. So I do think EDG is going to bounce back. EDG has definitely be has to be a favorite here in my opinion, but FPX was playing well, playing much better. Like I said, later in the spring split, so I definitely wouldn't roll them out uh, for GPP purposes. Um, if you are playing FPX to stack, um, I'm gonna have to probably favor Xiao Liaohu in the top lane, and then probably the bottom lane lwx and hang i do think viper and mako is a solid duo in the bottom lane but they have shown some vulnerabilities in the spring split so i do think if fpx is through to win they have to go through the bottom lane because i just don't see care beating scout um and then cled carrying that team like you know any other aggressive jungler as cled is not an aggressive jungler in my opinion at least from what i've seen so far out of him in the spring split with the squad um, at FPX. So um, so that's probably who I'm going to focus on for FPX. But for EDG, I mean, for cash line, it's going to be EDG and Weibo Gaming. And for EDG, I think it's going to have to go through Viper and Mako. And then JJ, um, I, his kill participation is somewhat lower um, than it was before. Uh, in, in, well, I guess in the last season, like last year. So that's been very interesting to me. I think they, they're trying to win just, you know, with the fundamental, like securing objectives, just like how EDG won the Worlds last year. But uh, in this meta, it's been, it's been a little more difficult for EDG, in my opinion. Um, last, last thing is who, who, um, the kill upside. I mentioned that earlier, but here is what I think, okay? So I do think IG and Weibo Gaming game um is gonna be less bloody actually it's because uh, hear me out so able gaming the shy i think he's gonna dominate in this in the laning phase over zika and then you know at least from what i've seen in the spring split june and yukai you know ig give up a lot of kills um 
but in my opinion, like early in the split, I think I'm just going to have to smash a lot of the total kills under, in my opinion, for all of these two games. And then probably for the rest of the first week, in my opinion, I think they're going to kind of, uh, you know, scale back a little bit on kill upside, in my opinion. I think I remember uh, just given the history of IG, um, IG historically has given up a lot of kills to their opponents, um, but Weibo Gaming is not, in my opinion, the type of team that like you know uh, thrives off of that. So, um, especially in the bottom lane, I don't think Huan Feng um, is gonna. Well, he he's definitely gonna win the lane, in my opinion, over Wink with On. But yeah, I don't I don't know. That's a, that's a, that's actually a pretty good observation in my opinion. Uh, metric to look at in my opinion. I think IG, um, how many kills they gave up last year. So let me take a look at oh, that real quick. IG play pretty fast. Weibo Gaming is probably down here, though. Yeah, see, that's exactly what I was saying. But Weibo Gaming had the lowest, had the slowest combined kills per minute in China last split, in the spring split. So I think that's very interesting. Although Invictus Gaming, like I said, they gave up a lot of kills um, in the split. So I think that's interesting. Um, 0.89. All right, let me pull everybody up here that are playing today. Who's the other team? There you go. So you see from last split, it's Invictus Gaming, FPX, ADG, and Weibo Gaming in the order of most to least uh, combined kills per minute. <clears throat> And as you see, Weibo Gaming is really far behind, you know, in terms of uh, kill upside. I do want to see in their wins, their kill upside goes even down. So that is not a good sign, in my opinion, if you think Weibo Gaming is going to win. Because losses for, uh, what's his name? Invictus Gaming. See, Invictus Gaming gave up a lot of kills. But Weibo Gaming does not score a lot of kills. Um, so I think it's the extreme of, uh, you know, both extremes. So, and then FPX, EDG, I mean, they're about the same, 0 0.84, 0 0.88, 0 0.84. Yeah, so. I do want to see what happened early in the split, like early in this spring split. You see Invictus Gaming gave up a lot of kills. Let's see, January 31st, maybe the first 10 games or something. You see that uh, Weibo Gaming still played slow. Invictus Gaming played slow as well. Yeah, so I think that supports my kill upside uh, analysis. I think FPX to EDG, I think this is going to be a, a faster. Um, faster uh, or more bloody matchup, in my opinion. So I would definitely go long stack EDG and then maybe go Weibo Gaming short stack for cash li lineup. That's probably where I'm going to go. But yeah, so that's where I'm at um, in terms of kill upside, which is very important on a two game slate like this to pick the right team to make the long stack with. So anyway, so I'll try to make some videos like this uh, for the last for the next two months or so here and there, probably every day or every other day. Um, but if you have if you guys have any questions, if you guys want to chat league, please uh, reach out to me on Twitter, YouTube or on Discord with, uh, you know, um, true dfs um, that you're used to so yeah if you like the video here please hit the like button and if you uh 
want to subscribe, that'd be great as well. Would be it'd be great, greatly appreciated. So yeah, good luck out there, and it's it's exciting. It's you know League of Leg League, League of Legends season again. So yeah, welcome back. Have a good one. Bye bye.